Just as human DNA gives each person unique traits, a unique genetic code makes up each soybean plant. That code determines everything about that plant, such as how fast it will grow, how hardy it will be, and how that soybean will yield. Now with the help of the United Soybean Board and Soybean Checkoff Production Research Funding, the U.S. Department of Energy's Joint Genome Institute has sequenced the soybean's genetic code. One of the analogies that you can use about the genome sequence is it really gives you the parts list. And so um, before we had the full genome sequence, we knew there was about 36,000 or so genes in the soybean genome. So those, you can think of those as 36,000 parts that make up a soybean plant. Now that we've sequenced the soybean genome, we know that there's over 65,000 parts. So clearly we only had about half the parts previously. So now we have the whole parts list. I'm really excited about that. It really is, is a, a great feat that's been accomplished and uh, soybean farmers are definitely going to benefit from, from uh, the mapping of the soybean genome. The genome, basically that was all put forth through the checkoff work um, and having that map, and we're basically the only commodity to have that, which is tremendous. Um, and then the work with uh, Dr. Cregan from Beltsville and having them map and putting you know, all the 50,000 markers on the 19,000 lines in the, in the soybean genome library is, is tremendous and that'll just put us, I think, in a, in a better step to really put some top varieties out in the future. By analyzing genetic markers on thousands of soybean germplasm lines, researchers have paved the way towards the development of improved soybean varieties that can fight pest, disease, and weather-related stresses. And farmers can look forward to having better soybean varieties become available faster than ever before. Mapping of the genome is key to the speed at which we can increase yields of soybeans and not only increasing yields but increase their disease resistance, insect resistance, drought resistance, uh, all those help increase yield. Typically for breeding it takes 10 to 15 years to get a variety out to the farmer where we're hoping if a, if a soybean breeder can go into this genome library and pick and choose what they want just from by what, gene, what the soybeans have then they can breed them faster and hopefully to get the new varieties to farmers out within five years. Because checkoff funding helps sequence the soybean genome, the information is public, meaning all plant breeders can freely use the valuable information that can result in higher U.S. soybean yields. That's critical because demand for U.S. soy harvested each fall continues to grow. With that increased demand, of course, then we need to increase yields. So production research needs to be focused on increasing yield and at least maintaining or increasing quality along with that. We need to keep those protein and oil levels up there as we do increase yield uh, because that's really what soybeans are. I think it really enables a much more rapid, much more precise, and quite frankly a much more exciting future for soybean and the farmers will see these things rolled out over the next few years and they can trace it back to having the knowledge of the soybean genome sequence. A recent return on investment study indicates that for every checkoff dollar invested, U.S. soybean farmers get back $6.40 in return. Production research funding represents just one example of how the checkoff benefits all U.S. soybean farmers. For Beyond the Bean On Air, I'm Brad Buller reporting.